When you think of wood, you probably picture something that eventually warps, cracks, or rots. Yet, in the northern reaches of Europe, centuries ago, craftsmen were transforming soft, ordinary timber into a material so resilient it could survive storms, ice, and centuries of decay. This wasn't magic, it wasn't alchemy, and it certainly wasn't modern chemicals. It was a method honed over generations, perfectly blending observation, patience, and natural materials. Today, we're going to uncover this lost northern technique and explore how you can apply it in your own backyard to create wood that resists rot, pests, and the elements lasting decades or more. You know, northern craftsmen always chose the right wood at just the right time. It wasn't just luck, but a real understanding of the land and the seasons. The journey to what we call stone-like wood, well, it began long before a single plank was shaped. Northern builders were honestly meticulous about timing. Softwoods like pine, spruce or fir were harvested during late winter or early spring, when the trees were dormant and sap levels were low. This simple but uh, critical choice meant that the wood contained less moisture, which really reduced its susceptibility to rot right from the very start. After felling, the timber wasn't immediately used. It was, you know, carefully air-dried, often for a year or more, in well-ventilated spaces protected from rain. This slow, patient drying hardened the wood fibres without causing cracks or warping, creating a stable base for further treatment. For your backyard projects, you can replicate this by selecting dormant season wood and storing it in a shaded, ventilated area. And, well, avoid rushing the drying process with excessive heat or direct sun, as this can weaken the wood's internal structure. Even small outdoor builds, like benches or planters, benefit from starting with properly seasoned timber. Once dried, northern craftsmen often employed a technique that might seem a bit counterintuitive today controlled charring of the wood surface. By exposing the timber briefly to fire, they created a thin carbon layer that repelled moisture, insects and fungi. This process transformed the softwood's outer surface into a protective shell, while the inner core remained strong and flexible. The effect was dramatic. Planks that would normally rot in a decade could last centuries under harsh northern conditions. In a practical backyard application, you can achieve similar results with a propane torch or a small controlled fire. Hold the flame close enough to blacken the surface without burning through. After charring, gently brush away loose soot, then coat the wood with natural oils like linseed or pine tar. This combination locks out moisture and strengthens the fibres, making it ideal for fences, garden structures or even outdoor furniture. Charring alone wasn't enough. Northern builders often supplemented the process with natural oils and resins. Pine tar, obtained by slowly burning pine resin, was applied to every surface. It acted as a waterproofing agent and contained natural antiseptic compounds that prevented mould and rot. Some methods even involved soaking timber in resin-infused liquids or applying multiple coats over several months, allowing the wood to fully absorb 
the protective compounds. The result was timber that seemed impervious to the elements, able to survive both moisture and the relentless cold. You know, you can actually recreate this in your own backyard by sourcing pine tar, or even making your own from pine resin. Just warm it gently, then rub it deep into the wood fibres with a cloth. Make sure to focus on surfaces that'll face rain or heavy use, like raised garden beds, fence posts, or wooden beams in sheds. This sort of treatment really ensures longevity all while staying completely natural, safe and free of chemicals. The northern method didn't just rely on chemical or heat treatments, you see. Craftsmen understood that joinery and design were just as important as the quality of the materials themselves. They used overlapping boards, angled joints and wooden pegs to distribute weight and stop water from pooling. It's a clever way to make sure the wood lasts, even in tough conditions. Flat surfaces were avoided and timber was allowed to expand and contract naturally without splitting. By combining material treatment with intelligent design, they created structures that endured centuries, even in some of Europe's harshest climates. Applying this principle in your backyard can make a huge difference. Slightly angled bench seats, raised edges on planters or overlapping boards in sheds all help water drain naturally, reducing rot. Pairing these design choices with treated timber creates projects that last far longer than untreated wood. Imagine, if you will, constructing a backyard shed using softwood that's been harvested in winter, then slowly air-dried, lightly charred, and treated with pine tar. That shed, you see, would resist rain, sun and pests far longer than your typical store-bought timber. Even firewood stored with these methods, well, it stays dry and rot-free, giving you reliable fuel year after year. Outdoor furniture, fences and garden tools all benefit from this approach, turning ordinary wood into heirloom quality, virtually indestructible material. You know, northern craftsmen weren't just lucky. They simply understood nature, materials and timing. By applying these centuries-old techniques, you can work with wood in a way that really minimizes decay, avoids all those chemical treatments, and produces results that, honestly, Modern builders often fail to match. When you embrace the northern method, seasonal harvesting, slow drying, controlled charring, natural oiling and thoughtful joinery, you're not just building structures. You're connecting with a time-tested legacy of human ingenuity. Whether you're a history enthusiast, a survivalist, or simply someone who wants durable natural wood in your backyard, these techniques offer timeless solutions. If you found this guide valuable, well, why not subscribe to our channel for more historical insights and practical survival wisdom? Go ahead and share this video with fellow enthusiasts so the knowledge of northern craftsmen continues to inspire backyard projects around the world. And, you know, if you apply these lessons today, you'll see that ordinary softwood can be transformed into timber that truly stands the test of time.